Thank you for contacting Tumasoft Support. This is the Windows 8 version of, uh, the, of how to make a screen or a webcast so that you can show us what the problem you're having is. Um, Screener is a free service provided by Articulate.com, Articulate Software. Articulate is one of the leaders in e-learning. Uh, it's a fantastic, easy to use program. Uh, you will need to have Java installed and you will need to allow a little bit of access, but Articulate is a fantastic, uh, very well re reputable company, very well known uh, and very quite safe. So. Um, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to open a web browser and we're going to go to this web address www.screener.com -E and you're going to choose the button called launch screen recorder now. In this case I already have the screen recorder running. I actually am running it right from uh, recording this video right from Screener and so when you do that you're going to get a, a page that looks like this and so uh, we'll go back to that at the very end of our video. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a Windows file browser. In this case I'm going to turn a few things off so that it looks like yours is going to look when you open it. Uh, you're going to um, and actually I think it normally is about like this. So uh, you're going to open Windows C Drive and you're going to go to your program files folder we're looking for the Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements folder. In that folder is a fold is another folder called Presets. And we're going to open the Presets folder. We're going to look at patterns and brushes and custom shapes in this exercise. So the first thing we're going to open is the brushes panel. Um, and by default this actually shows up as a list. So this is most likely what your folder looks like, just a list of brushes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the view menu and we're going to um, choose uh, to change this to one of the icon sizes. There's small, medium, large, or extra large. Uh, Argus works with medium, large, and extra large icons. So go ahead. I'm going to choose extra large just so that we can see them nice and big. And the next thing we need to do is choose the preview pane. So this gives us an area on the right hand side where we can see the files larger. So then you can choose any one of the brushes and you'll see that now we have a thumbnail preview that shows three of the brushes so we get an idea of what's inside and then we have the large preview pane that shows the full set of brushes. The previews in the preview pane are sized to ensure that all of the brushes in the file are included. Let's go back to the presets folder now and choose patterns. And if we need to, we can change the, from list to icons and preview pane. That preview pane toggles on and off. And then let's also go back to custom shapes. If you need to, change from list to icons. Turn on the preview pane. After you've done this, you're going to need to go back to the screener website. And uh, you're going to choose done, which is there's a button, a green button, or you can choose alt D. And then it's going to ask you to publish. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. My video will end now, but what I'd like you to do is send me the URL to your published screen or video so that I can see what's going on with your software and we can help you out. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.